say. <laughs> You're not a Peter Parker. <laughs> I can. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse has surpassed Spider-Man 2. Yeah, bold statement, but what Lego Movie was to Batman is what Spider-Verse is to Spider-Man. The stakes of, like, every single character in this movie is high. You have the added combination of introducing Miles Morales to all of these multi-dimensional Spider-Man. You feel every person, and ultimately the entire movie, everybody that I notice has something at risk, something that they regret. From a scene where Spider-Man is talking about bread, and it's obviously a metaphor for his relationship with MJ, to the point of Miles Morales not being able to say anything to his father when he's venting out to him something he's wanted from the beginning of the movie. Every character arc in this movie is done well. It's fan service to its max, but it's done to a great limited where you just love it, and honestly, one of the best tributes to the late now Stan Lee, and the ending, hands down, post credit scene, I really want Sony to invest their chips into creating this universe. Do more films, get Toby, get Garfield, get Holland. With that being said, right now it's a four out of four stars. If we do a sequel where it's even better, we can possibly get a five, but it beats Spider-Man 2. Alright, so, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, you don't have to even say a lot. It's stylistically one of the coolest movies you'll ever see. Story-wise, it's, it's phenomenal. Everybody does a fantastic job as far as the voice work goes. Um, it's a perfect four. It, it's as si simple as that. It's a perfect four, good tribute, good post-credits. Dead. Oh. Right out of the gate, this is four out of four. Stylistically, I will say that this is the best I've seen since see Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim did something way different stylistically, and it was so new, and it was so cool, and fucking Spider-Verse blew it out of the water. Uh, with all the references, all the callbacks, uh, going through comic book movies, and shows, and uh, the pages itself, and Spidey senses, and how, uh, and how different, like, they played to Miles Morales' story, and how it's like a more... It's a more cityscape Spider-Man. It's it's not just like a white picket fence Spider-Man. It's like something that a lot of people now, especially kids, can get involved with. Uh, for saying all all the Spider-Man movies that we've had up so far, Into the Spider-Verse takes the cake. It's the best one out. So four out of four, forever. <laughs> forever. Forever. Batman forever. Batman <laughs> probably the best Spider-Man movie. There. Visually, it's incredible the color skate they did. Uh, if you do see it, I recommend if they have a 3D version, I definitely see it in that. It's probably well worth it. Uh, I mean, everything about it was just awesome. The whole underdog score that's iconic in Spider Man stories was here. You could feel it. The, uh, you know, the come on, stand up and win vibe you got from it. The come from behind feeling you got, you definitely had it in this movie. Uh, I felt like it was true to comic style. It was. Uh, Acoustically, it was awesome. The soundtrack on this is phenomenal, uh, and the story was just great. I love, I love multiverse stories in comics, and I feel like this movie did it justice. Like a lot of movies out there don't do it as well, but this one really hit it. It was perfect. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It was funny. It was heartfelt. It was everything it needed to be. This, if they could make this movie exactly as it was live action, it would topple any cinematic version of any Spider-Man that has been so far. That means I'm definitely going to go out of four.